Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in the Outer Worlds, and we are at Odeon Pictures or Motion Pictures or something like that, because we have an audition. For all audition, please use the elevator on the left. And we must use the elevator on the left, because going right is a big no-no. Um, taste the freedom. Well, let's see. We have a discount. We could sell stuff, but I already broke some stuff down. Level 15 probably isn't worth keeping. I'm not even going to read what they have. Let's sell all of our junk. We are rich. Well, relatively rich. Oh. Even richer now. Nine bits richer. I really wish you could gamble in this game. <clears throat> I don't know if you can, but it sounds like a lot of fun. Especially if I have 60,000 bits. Please. Please, yes. Killing everyone? If you could just leave me back at the ship. I'm sure there's something ought to be fixed things now. What? What's going on, you two? Alright. Can I go in? Nope. Alright, well. Great! You made it! Listen, I know you're expecting a script, but you're the real deal. Just go in there and do what feels natural. Alright. We gave the other actors real weapons to keep things authentic. Okay. See, I knew you'd get it. Now go in there, find your mark, and show us what you got. Hello. Examine. You call these crates? We need at least twice as many. Well, well. Here to stop us at last, Captain Steel? You're too late. All of this settlement CNP hungry time food pills, same nutritional value, but now with added filler, are ours. With their patented stomach stuffing effects and baseline vitamin content, we will be nigh unstoppable. A joke's on you, idiot. Those crates are just decoys. They... they are? What an unexpected twist. You may have fooled me for now, but not for long. Which side is my good side? Do you remember the last time we faced each other? The Battle of Axajax, staring one another down across the void of space while flaming debris fell like rain around us. The things you just described are scientifically impossible. Well, that probably won't be good for the script. What of it? Well... I see you haven't changed a bit, Steel. I had you surrounded and outgunned, but you overcame my superior numbers with tactical thinking and a Hammersmith limited edition grenade launcher. I've been waiting for five years now, and at last my day for vengeance has come. You ran like a coward, then you'll run now if you know what's good for you. I... oh. I just got chills. But still, you'll not stop me now. I have this whole port wired with some micro energon transistors. Once we're away, I'll activate the gamma particulate field and the quantiponic chain reaction will turn this whole place into vaporized plasma. Most of these words are made up and the ones that are real don't work like that. Speechless I see. It is a flawless plan. I hope you've paid your burial fees and signed your personal death and dismemberment waivers because this is the end for you. Now it's the end for you. Let's see you try. I... Line... Never mind, I think that's C. To the break room, everyone. I need my Moab fizzy tea. God, God. That was fantastic. With actors like you, who needs writers? Oh man, I wanted to kind of shoot him up, but okay, whatever. I'll take everything you got. I don't know if you need live ammo here, but you know what? I'm not going to complain. I'm an actor. Where is my room? Where is my makeup artist? Are we allowed to smoke indoors? I guess we are. Do I get a smoke break every five minutes? That was brilliant stuff. Do you write your own material? You bet. Amazing. 
Just firm up that jawline, and you'll be a triple threat. Are you calling me overweight? I'm gonna have to fire the writing staff. What do those anemic fuckwits know about dialogue, anyway? I'm thinking a whole new script. More pirates, bigger explosions. You flicking a stogie slim into a barrel of gasoline. Marketing says that kind of action sells tickets. Here, this is for your work today. Ooh. I'll be in touch once we get that script. You know I'm an actor. At Central. Nice. 19,000 XP. Pretty good. Nothing around here. The board's reputation is increased. Oh, the board is watching. Where does this go? 1,100 bits. Not bad. Not bad. That's right. I'm a diva. I get paid hard for my work. No one can beat me. I was really hoping I could kill them, but, you know, whatever. Whatever. Chairman's office. Yeah, we do need to see Minister... We already saw Minister Clock last time. That's right. I could use the right elevator now, receptionist. Thank you for your time. But last time we saw Minister Clark. Now, we must go see somebody at the Acropolis? Something like that? Acropolis. Well, I think I can well that's alright. I don't need to buy anything too much. We have a lot of light ammo. But... So we need to investigate the chairman's office. Chairman Rockwell. Because we have all these other things up. This one has to go to Groundbreaker. This next one has to go to Scylla. This one's on Groundbreaker. Oh, Ellie's parents. I'm not going to bother with that for now. Cleaning products. She had to go to Groundbreaker. We need to go to Scylla. We need to go to Scylla. And then we got to go... Earth Directorate. Halcyon Office. Chairman's Office. Okay, we'll do that one. Well, that's the goal. But now I'm famous. Everyone loves me. And I've left my other actors speechless. They were like, oh my goodness, we're working with a true professional. Who's armed to the teeth. Guard Stallworth. The Acropolis District is off limits. Move along. Oh, we have to go to the maintenance tunnels. Mind if I take a breather? What in the law's name are you on about? These, uh, bits. Sure. Let me just take that off your hands. Did I say restricted area? Slip of the tongue. What I meant was, welcome to the Acropolis District. Uh, goodbye. You see, I, I have this reputation. I have a few bits, dollar dues. Oh, maintenance tunnels. That, uh, they'll just let me in when, wherever I want to go. But you know what's better than nature? Auntie Cleo's. Oh. Beatrice, all right, Kurt. Welcome to the official headquarters of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Today's greeting is brought to you by Auntie Cleo, a subsidiary of Colway Pharmaceuticals. Well, all right then. Employee, employee, anyone of importance. Employee, employee. Uh, not really. Doesn't look like there's too many paths that we could really take. Corporate guard. I doubt I can go through here. Yeah, that's what I go to, do, to the other door as well. Um. Well. State your business. Please step away. This entry is for high priority HHC business only. I have the access card. Huh. I didn't realize we were still using those iridescent stickers. But this looks right. I'll just need you to register your weapons with a revised request to carry 32B form. Each weapon will need a separate form. Oh, God, no. Uh, fine. Now, uh, let's see. Damn it. When did I run out of forms? Oh, uh, I can wait. Well, how nice for you. Do you have any idea how long it takes to request new forms? Or... How many citations I'll get for impeding HHC business in the meantime? Just know there are a bunch of guards upstairs, and they're all high on dervish mist and low on patience. So try anything funny, and they'll paint the walls with your guts. Okay, well, I'd like to see them try. Ah, oh, say something, Parvati. Say something, Vicar Max. I need to change your armor, but I really like the, the shoulder pieces on his body. They're very nice. Mm, yeah, her body's not bad. She's got like a little bit of a an extended turtleneck. 
very comfy. Oh, interesting. Can I break into here? Ah, uh, that's why I need to increase my lock picking skill. Oh, there's a hole in the wall. Flat. I understand you're Maverick Johnston's new star. Well done. Thank you, Percival. What do you do here? Personal assistant to Adjutant Akande and Chairman Rockwell. I'm also responsible for organizing the adjutant stationery, which is more of a hobby. Um, exciting. Ah. Uh, oh, you were being serious. I'm obliged to inform you that Chairman Rockwell is unavailable for an indeterminate duration. Will there be anything else? No, no. I'll, I'll see myself in. You're guarding a door that's sealed. Oh, what's what's behind here? Hmm, an elevator it appears to be, but okay, well, we'll go in this way. And no one needs to know that I come in here. I don't know. Hack. Oh man, I need more hack too. Priority message. Ministry key card. Oh. Good afternoon. I'm Chairman Rockwell, and I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living hmm. from malnutrition. But we're doing it together, and that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources, while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, huh. you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis, so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. And someday, in the not-too-distant future when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, Take your vitamins, follow your corporate mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. I'll see on. <sighs> Interesting. That was our story, wasn't it? Uh, is there anything more? Send Mi Mr. Clark's message to Earth. Oh, wait, what? Message and route? Oh. Personal files. What's taking so long? Percival. Masseuse. Food reserves. We have plenty of real food stored away from, from our inner colony trade. Uh-oh. Other corporations. And up um, in arms about their shares again. No one saw that. Or that. Or this. Well, we'll talk as soon as I'm done looting this place. wonder where the chairman is. He'll be like right behind me after I steal everything. I borrow everything. Borrow. Long-term borrowing. Never returning. Anyone with eyes to see would not be shocked to hear that the colony is dying. But the board's solution, on the other hand choosing to save themselves and their families and friends at the expense of the rest of the colony? Those fucking bastards. What are we going to do about this? I don't- I fail to see how it's our problem. Well, when you figure it out, you can count on me to back your play. 
Your ability to get out of tight situations virtually undetected hasn't failed us so far. Anything you'd like to discuss? No, not really. Oh. Broken snow globe. I don't know how that's valuable. Um, I could just walk out of here. Oh, but it's locked. Percival was around here, but, uh... I guess not. I beg your pardon. Minister Clark's former office is currently closed to solicitors. You should just get back to your desk. I saw someone eyeing your stationery. What? Oh, dear. Thank you for reminding me. Oh. I can't stand the thought of someone else's hands touching my custom letterheads. The door speaks. All right, then. That's interesting. That's, that's actually pretty cool that, uh... You find little bugs like that, but that's pretty cool. Um, 53. Dimethyl sulfoxide. Glorious stuff. See? You tell the car that they didn't want to blow my head off. And if they need alcohol or drugs, they know where to go. You can always find me. Oh, it's locked. I'm a little concerned. Oh, is, is there another way out? I don't like this. Oh, okay. I thought it was locked. Oh, whew. I thought I had to shoot my way out of here. Really need all the Whew. That's interesting. Where is the chairman? Right, Bink? I'm joined here by my cat, Binky. He's sitting on my chair. He's made this chair to be his own now. Ah, oh, so beautiful. Guard Stallworth. Oh, wait. Oh, it's over here. Office clerk. Office clerk. Oh, just have to unlock it. Ministry of Ancestry, I think it said? And something else. Tearaway biological overview. Oh, this is fancy. Minister of Accuracy and something. Office clerk. Hello. They didn't like that. Nope. I think I'm gonna start taking my lunches out of the city. Um, no one's gonna see me on this terminal. We might have God dang it. Ah. Close the thingy. Alright. Employee complaints. Theodore Isaacs keeps eating my purple berry lunches. We'll kill him then. Alright, well that wasn't really worth it, but whatever. Um, restricted access. Anything over here? A lot of office clerks. Not very interesting. Not so fast. The Ministry of Accuracy and Morale is off-limits to everyone without X-36 level clearance. Basically, if you don't work here, or for Chairman Rockwell himself, you're not getting in. Sounds discriminatory. How's this for clearance? I don't know how you got that, but I still don't know you, and I don't have any new clearances on the list. Let me through now, or your official record won't be fit for polishing floors. What? Waste my time, and I'll bury you so deep in citations you'll die of paper cuts before you ever crawl out, you scum. Oh no. You must be from Chairman Rockwell's office. I'm so sorry. No one told me you were coming. Please, go on through. And let's forget this misunderstanding, huh? That's right. That's what I thought. But before I do that, I want to explore this area first. Alright. I love being intimidating. Oh, can I go through here? No? Darn. Can I go through here? Ah, the latrines. Nothing like taking stuff from the bathroom and stuffing it into my pockets. Office hey, clerk. Get or something? Office clerk. Right. A lot of office so clerks. Office, office clerk. A little area up here. Inter oh wait, Caroline. Sorry, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Who are you? Do you know what? Oh, I can't do this. Oh, no, 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 no. Sprat mitochondria. I knew it. He's eating your lunch too, isn't he? That greedy little sissy pig. This is great. I finally have someone else to complain to. Do these people got nothing else to occupy their time? You get your turn. Right oh. now, we're talking about Theodore. All right, I'm delivering a formal reprimand to Theodore, but management forgot to send my ID. Oh, that's no problem. I can get you into the lab. In fact, let's go there now. Oh. Theodore's out right now, but we should be ready when he gets back. That way, everyone can see you chew him out. 
This is going to be so good. Oh, whoops. Well, I already have access. I mean, I'm I intimidated the guard. Stealing and stuff wouldn't be good. Get out of my way, please. Get out of my way. Da -da -da. Office clerk. Well, at least it looks very nice in here. Corporate recruit. Move along. I could pick it, but I don't want to get shot just yet. Recruits. Elevator. The room. Looks like a place that we could potentially sneak. Oh, she's talking to guard uh, Holt, even though I already did everything there. Oh, that would not be good if I did that. Don't want to kill everybody right now. But it looks like this is the main way for us to go, unless... Yeah. Goodbye. There's a green wire. They just let anyone through if you're intimidating enough. Oh, I have a hole in my sock. I wonder why I could feel the ground. Oh. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, I better be careful with this. I really should concentrate on what that back failed spectacularly. I saw a variance in the results that we never accounted for, so I had the techs run the trial and the results were 0.003% different this time. Um Let the record show that subject 23K's cause of death is cerebral vascular incident brought about I haven't seen you before. View lab notes. Massive cranial hemorrhage. I'm really worried that I do not have enough cover. Oh, there's animal testing. Um. Developing new Tylerito's flavors may be glamorous, but our work is vital to oh. What's in animal testing? Ooh, we talked to this person. What a pleasant surprise. Wait. Thanks to you, Reginald, what? Philippa, and the rest are up to their old games of deception and seduction. But what are you doing here? What is he doing here? I need to inspect some chemicals. On the other side of the lab? Why, that requires a top-level clearance. After all, we're running low on the stuff. I really shouldn't be doing this. But you did help me out. Take this key card. It'll get you into the hibernation lab where the remaining dimethyl sulfoxide is. If you're seen by any of the guards, however, I'm afraid I can't help. Good luck. Farewell. Alright, that, that would help us. I haven't seen you before. You're not a test subject. Nope, I'm not a test subject. Huh. Really don't want to go too far. So what if those MSI suits made it? Keep your shoulders up. Oh, I'm gonna have to go guns blazing, aren't I? Better hold on. Does that fix anything? Um, what happens if I go up and we'll come back down? Does that change? Okay, that does change it. Oof. Oof, where are we now? Since I came up this. Oh. Oh. I didn't know there was an extra door here. Nice. Oh, thank God. I thought I had to go guns blazing. Whew. Even though I'm totally okay with that, I just don't want to upset too many people. All right, let's see if we can grab this little dingy my dingy. Well then. Oh god, this is going to take so long to get around. Mmm, I don't like this. A UDL security attendant is always prepared. Don't follow me, don't follow me.
Review the lab notes. Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to go guns blazing, scientists. There's no one to talk to. It's right over there. Well then. Please step away, corporate commander. Get out of here. Could lock pick him, but um. Well, let's try it. No visitors allowed, citizen. I'm going to need to see some identification. Oh, I can reset my shroud. All right, uh, Doctor. Oh, you must have left it at home. Sure, I've heard that one before. I doubt it. Oh, stop! Stop! I don't want to hear anymore. Just don't let me catch you again without your ID, okay? You totally are. Oh, thank God. Oof. Interrogation successful. This will only work a few times in each area. Well, at least we see this mechanic come back. Some games where you, they introduce a mechanic and they never use it again after the first time. Oh. Hibernation area. That'd be good to unlock for later. All right. I feel a little bit more safe knowing I can talk my way out of things for now. What the heck? Is this Bioshock? Oh, the terminal. Alright. Transfer to canister. Continue. Uh, hold on. Let's get back out. Let's see. View the lab notes first. Improvements. Formula still missing. Unable to fully revive subjects from long-term hibernation. And removing their supply results in rather painful death. Holy cow. We've had a hard time securing any additional chemicals. Further information. Sudden withdrawal is highly lethal. Experimental integrity and test subject vitality can be maintained by leaving a blank amount Concentration and circulation. Oh, do I kill everyone here or not? Uh, experimental integrity and test subject vitality, vitality can be maintained. By, oh, I don't want to kill these people. They've done nothing wrong to me. Experiment details. To repeatedly revive human subjects from extended hibernation without causing the d death of the human subject and loss of associated productivity. Okay, inconclusive. Well. Crud. Just do that. I'm sorry. But it's what must be done. Oh no, oh no, that's so bad. What did I do? Oh, now I feel bad. Oh, man. Come on. Come on, man. Well. You can't see me through here, can you? Hello. Oh, well, they don't they don't care if I steal stuff from behind a bulletproof window. Well, then. Oh, and this guy's dead. Oh. Oh, now we've unlocked it. Nice. Well. Well, sometimes you have to make unfortunate choices in life. I hope that doesn't come back to bite me in the butt, though. Oh, wait. Did I grab it? Maybe I didn't grab it. Oh, what the heck. Back down. Right, Vector Max. Right, Parvati. You look a little ugly. I'm not going to lie. Those suits are not very pretty. I forgot to get this. There we go. 20,000 XP. Right, so now we can go back to the minister, I believe. Yeah. Head on back to... F oh, Phineas. Not even the minister. Wait, hold on. Before we... I might have to go back down. Let's check our journal real quick. So, we have the City and the Stars. I can go back to Phineas. He might not like it that I might have killed a couple people on the way there, but, you know, I can't help everybody. 
Um, I thought there was another one. That from min the minister, Sila, Pugent Primals. Um, Groundbreaker. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, I guess not. Cool. I guess it's time for us to go back to the on the unreliable. Hmm. Right, me? You okay? Well then, I kind of want to see Minister Clark to see what he'll say, but oh well. Hmm. I wonder if there's any other way to make more dimethyl sulfoxide. I was never good at chemistry class, though. Huh? Oh, I am. You have a message oh. from Adjutant Sophia Akande. No one ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. Who is she? You've had quite a career. Um. Okay. I'm glad to hear that. This may come as a surprise, but I happen to enjoy your work. I've been keeping up with you ever since Emerald Vale. She a spy? Now that was an interesting piece of work. A rundown backwater, barely worth the ink on a map. Until you showed up. You walked through Edgewater, and in your wake transformed it from a loyal company town to a haven for dissidents. I'm actually a little impressed. All this happened because some... Mysterious stranger fell out of the sky. I get it. You're well informed. You almost sound like you approve. Not always. For the longest time, I could never be sure if you were on our side or against us. You should be back on the hope frozen in a hibernation chamber. Yet here you are, flying about in a stolen ship, leaving a trail of paperwork in your wake. The board doesn't know what to make of you. But I do. I've seen your potential. There's so much we can do for this colony. Um, you wanted to talk to me? Make your offer. You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. You want Ada, don't you? Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. Of course. Of course. Convince me. Wells is a dangerous madman. His plan is going to endanger everyone in Halcyon. He's an obsessive psychopath. And he's using you. You're in contact with Wells. I want you to send us a tracing signal from his communication terminal. Um, we're done here. Ada, hold on. You want me to sell him out? Wells was our mistake. We failed to apprehend him for years. I'm asking you to help me correct that mistake. I'm sending you my access code. Contact me from Wells' terminal. When you're done, come speak to me in my office. Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. Will there be anything else, Captain? Well, let's get out of here. Let's go to let's let's go ahead and take our ship to go to Phineas's lab so that we get trapped on our way there. And see what happens. Now arriving at Phineas's top secret orbital lab. Top secret. Well, Phineas. If you don't mind my saying, Captain. Oh well. Minister Clark is lucky to have you on his side. All right. Well, we might have just doomed him. Negotiate with Sprats for territory. Install Sisty Pig, something attachments or something. Phineas's docking bay. Oh. Communications terminal. We could do that. Well, let's let Phineas know what's going on. I've kept myself busy in your absence. Optimized my formula. I'm now confident I can revive the remaining colonists. All I need now is the dimethyl sulfoxide. I'll take as much as you can give me. Forget about the chemicals. The colony's on the verge of collapse. The board was testing them on human subjects. I had to let them die. Thank you. You've brought me enough chemicals to get started, at least. I'm just sorry they came at the cost of human lives. Those poor people, they must have died in agony. What exactly was the board trying to accomplish? 
I got an idea. Maybe the board is trying to limit the number of, I guess you could say, potentially lower class workers so that they wouldn't be able to rebel, maybe? The board's trying to mitigate damage to human tissue. You say the board's trying to freeze their subjects over and over again without inflicting permanent damage? Well, they're nowhere close to solving that problem. Something about this feels wrong. I don't know why the board would ever conduct such an experiment, unless they're working on some kind of hibernation technology. I'll tell you this much. The board scientists are hopelessly lost. After years of fruitless experimentation, they've made exactly zero progress. Callings on verge of collapse? It gets worse, but the chairman's planning on freezing everyone. Hold on. Let me see if I understand this correctly. You're saying that Halcyon's on the brink of total collapse? And the chairman's plan to save all of us is to save himself? I always knew Halcyon was heading toward a system's collapse, but I never imagined we were already there. The board made this crisis, and now they want to solve it by freezing the rest of us? That's not a plan. That's a goddamn escape clause. Do you realize what this means for the Hope? For your fellow colonists? The board's going to kill them all. Toss them out into space just to make room in their hibernation chambers. Hmm. Think about this. We just give up, huh? Short of lining up every member of the board and shooting them in the back of the head. Do you know what's waiting for us on the Hope? Scientists, engineers, artists, the brightest minds Earth ever sent us, uncorrupted by the board. The board's going to dispose of them all and transform the hope into a prison for the rest of us. They're likely on their way to the hope as we speak. We need to get to those colonists before the board. I have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them, but no easy way to get them off the hope. There's a way I'm not exactly s it's not exactly safe. We could skip the hope into the system. Merciful gibbering law, you're a genius. Thank you, Obsidian. We bring the hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space, right next to my lab. The hope's probably damaged, though. Yes, yes, exactly. You're a step ahead of me, but I perceive the shape of your plan. If we link up the hope to the unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra 2. I don't know much about skip drives, not the physics anyhow. I do know the hope's real massive. How's our bitty little ship supposed to skip it? Excellent question, my sharp-witted mechanic. You will use your own ship to power up the hope's skip drive. Your navigational computer can handle the rest. And that's going to work, without killing us in the process. I thought intrasystem micro-jumps were prohibited for a reason. Yes, yes, there's always a risk of a catastrophic collision between the Hope and, say, Terra 2, in theory. But you'll be fine, provided your calculations are correct. Ooh. You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then, head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope's skip drive. Once you've skipped the hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. Alright, I've got some questions. Certainly. How can I help? Should we expect any resistance, right? It wouldn't surprise me. When I pulled you out of the hope, the board nearly intercepted me. I expect they stepped up security since my little act of larceny. Skip drives aren't supposed to be used like this. I'm, I guess I'm ready. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers. Scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. Uh-oh. 
have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. The adjunct asked me to plan a tracking signal in your lab, but I'm not going to do it. Well, let's let's go with this. You absolutely should. Oh, okay. You got a plan? The adjutant must have sent you some kind of tracking code. If you don't use the code, she'll suspect you betrayed her. I think you should use the code and send a corrupted tracking signal. Well, that should buy me some time. Oh, I get it. You want to prepare. The board's going to catch up to me sooner or later. This way I'll have time to set up some particularly nasty defenses. Use my communications terminal to corrupt the tracking signal. While the board busies themselves trying to decipher it, I'll have plenty of time to prepare my defenses. Alright then. Level 25. Where's this... Um, Hope Docking Board. Well, it's got some perks. 44. Eh, sneak whatever. 60. Parv having Parvati here really helps. Intimidate... You can probably get up to 80. There you go. I got only two points left. So then we'll probably go maybe go with medical. I think that sounds like a good old idea. Perk. Last perk tier. When this companion is down during combat, they heal back some HP and continue fighting. Long cooldown. 15 minutes. Wow. Standard ground. Three armor rating for 10 seconds. Um... Hmm. Yeah, we must do that. Why not? And Vicar Max. Ooh. Your melee weapon is 202. Um. 21. 22. You're pretty good already. Uh. We'll do the same thing. Journal, real quick. Send the tracking signal to Sophia Akand. There it is. <clears throat> Send. A corrupted tracking signal. 32,000. Nice. Ah, that should do it. You've bought me more than enough time. You know, I don't know how this is going to end. I have no idea. My goal, I guess, could potentially be try to get to the board's favor, but, uh, I don't know, man. Get the favor, then go to see the actual board and kill everyone there, maybe, if I really wanted to. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Oh, I... I don't know why Phineas is trying to help everyone out. Maybe he's just a nice guy. Maybe Phineas is a good guy. Maybe if he's not. Stop in the engine room. Would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? Ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge. Well, she's not around here. That's a big hole. Captain, you have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. I'm impressed, Captain. I almost expected you wouldn't go through with it. Unfortunately, Dr. Wells found a way to corrupt the signal before we could pinpoint his location. Still, it's only a matter of time before we find him. Come visit me in Byzantium. We need to have a talk about the future of this colony. Oh, no. It's a big place. Meet me in my office. I've authorized Negative the ship reputation. my personal landing pad. Adjutant Akande has ended her call. Rather rudely, if I might say, considering she didn't sign off. Will there be anything else, Captain? Um, so, now with that call, we could go back to Byzantium and see what things are about. Uh, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to go back to Terra 2. And we'll go to the landing pad. We'll see what the adjunct Terra has to say. And Captain. then we'll do whatever we need to do to get the hope attached to... Phineas's place. But anyways, that's all the time for that we have today. It's very interesting to see how the game has progressed so far. But anyways, if you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link below, and I will see you all tomorrow as we make some very serious decisions in this game story. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you all have a great, great day.